Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? So, I have finished all of the silage. Yeah, I haven't bought any chickens yet. That's something we're going to do, because we also said, I did say that we're going to buy some sheep. I finished the silage over there, and we've done that silage over there. I finished cultivating that field over there. I returned the Russell Mash. Uh, you know what, let's get some chickens a minute. Uh, before I do that, the uh, weekly question, I'm going to buy either field 9 on the right, uh, left hand side, I should say, over there, which is a field of maize, or I will get field 12, which will be another grass field. Um, which one do you think I should buy? It is your vote, it's your game, head down below and let me know which one you think I should get. Just one thing you should know is that I have hitched on the uh, mower on the front of the Sammy Fortis 190 and I have the Pottinger on the back. You can use just grass in here, so we're not going to be making hay on this map. We're just going to tip grass in there, and that one is full of straw. That one there will be for the silage as soon as it's ready in the clamp up there. So we will go up, we'll wander up there a second and have a look. But I'm going to buy um, 100 chickens, because I think 100 chickens is about right. And then I'm going to take out a loan for a bit more money. And I'm going to buy 150 sheep to start off with. Um, I won't get any more than that. I think 150 is a good rate to start with. Uh, we've got another field that we could combine very soon if we wanted to. I would like to do some fertilizer spreading and um, drilling up in that field today. And we could get some feed in for the sheep. Um and so on and so forth. Now I've also got this one down here, this one's ready and um, I've got to install the milk cell point. So let's just go and take a quick look at this. Before I do any further I'm just going to buy the sheep and the chickens. So um, I will see you in a minute. I'll get a hundred chickens and 150 sheep. Right, we now have 150 sheep and 100 chickens. I've also taken out all of the available loans, so we have £75,000 left. Um, we're just going to see how much we've got left on this one. That is at 92%, so very, very soon we're going to have some silage, so we can tip a bit in there, which means we'll be able to get a bit of extra money. Um, now, next thing, I need a trigger for the milk. Now, the milk is not that important at the moment. I brought it down here just so that I could uh, take a look at this. I will include a link in the description for this particular part and you need to get the um, Mahu um, milk sale trigger and the milk fill trigger. Um, that's the, the milk truck start trigger. That's actually where you sell it and then this grey and black one, that's the one where you fill it. So we need that one on our map and I'm going to put that one right here, right next to that sign, if I can. I want to put that in that doorway so that I've got to actually back the trailer into the doorway a little bit. So we put that one there. Let's come out of there. Right. And that's, it doesn't actually cost anything to install that one. Same as the stop milk sale. So now the uh, milk sale won't happen and we can refill the trailer from this point right here. So what we'll do is we'll fill up this trailer with the milk and we will take that up to the uh, mod up top and then once we've done that we'll get on to the tractor the sammy with the mower and uh, so on on the front right let me just uh, press r to no i need to see you've got to get it right back over the trigger there we go now press r and it will start filling it up like that and we will take this milk up to the top even though we haven't got anything else up there yet uh, we're going to need wood chips very soon so we can start actually working on it. But now that we've got some milk, we just want a little bit of grass for the animals here and for the sheep. And then we want to be able to get some wood chips. So that's what we're going to start working on next week is wood chips. We're going to go up over there, up into the far corner. You can just see in the distance there, the beast, sitting up there, ready and waiting to go. That is the one that we're going to be using now. We want to head on. I don't know what this tractor is going to be like. And I'm also still trying to decide whether I should keep the loader tractor and get pallet forks for it or get rid of it and get a, a telescopic handler. I am most likely going to get a telescopic handler because 
I could probably cope with uh, moving some logs and stuff around with log forks and that on it, but the thought of having to maneuver around pallets with that tractor, uh, yeah, that just sort of fills me with a cold dread. I absolutely hate the idea of that. I really, really do. I really do not want to do that. Something else I said that I would look at is getting a, um, a windmill installed on this map so that I could use the water for it. And I haven't actually done that yet, but I was, I'm fairly certain there is one somewhere that we can get free water. So I will look into it and we'll see if I can get free water. Uh, another thing that I noticed when I went round that field again and just tested the grass is where I originally placed those buildings on that field. It looks like they've left the grass completely bare. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Might have to plough it and replant it or something, or it might have just removed the um, possibility of grass growing there. I'm not quite sure on that one. It seems to be a little bug, so I might... If we get time, we will sort of try putting a bit of uh, ploughing it a bit and uh, trying it. Well, I think we'd put milk into this. Yeah, milk into this one. So um, I can forward a little bit. There we go. And then the pipe goes onto there and fills up that one. So while that's filling, let's just take a look and see what the percentage is to see how much milk. I can't remember from the last map. Oh, yeah, it's about three loads. So about three loads will fill that one up with milk. We could get the blue tanker that has been modified, but... I don't think we actually need it. I think we'll be okay with this smaller one. So a few trips back and forth, that's all. It'd be actually pretty cool if we could put a road up here. I don't think there are any road mods. Something I might look at is to see if there's a track that I could put up here without having to go into the Giants editor. Just bear in mind, if you're um, making any suggestions for me, um, Giants editor is... Yeah, I, I have looked at it, but I think it's a little bit beyond my capabilities if I'm... Going to be brutally honest, it's probably better if I don't try and play around with something on there. So, if I just take this one into the dealership in here, we'll park it up in here on the flat, and then we can run across the road and we can get the Sammy over there with the mower on the front and the Pottinger. We can get a full load, just uh, slowly chugging around that field, and we can take... What do we do? We, well, we'll take it up to the sheep first. We'll fill the sheep up, so we've got 100... We got the 150 sheep up there. Let's just park this one here for a second. And where do the sheep? Where does the wool actually sell? Does the wool sell? I think that's that's the grain sell point there. And then you've got the eggs will sell here. Do you just bring the wool here? Um, and you got the the other stuff that sells here. You know, I'm not actually sure where we sell the wool. It'll be here somewhere. We'll figure that one out. Right, we want to get a bit of grass now, so let's come over into this one. He is all ready to go. I, Like I said, I tested it out and made sure that we could just use grass, and we can just use grass, which will make life a lot easier. So lower the mower, start that one up, go to the rear and lower that, start that one up, and we're away. So I will get a full trailer full of this one. And I'm actually thinking it would be better if we got a side-mounted mower as well as this one and mowed the field and then rode it up and collected it. Might be more efficient. And efficiency is something that we want to have a look at. Even if we don't actually go in for complete efficiencies. Yeah, see, we got the squares here. I, you can tell where I tested that mod to see where it would go. And I'd done... I did a whole load of other things on the map and moved a whole load of machinery around before I sort of thought this really isn't appropriate places to put them. And, um, yeah, it's because I spent quite a bit of time on other bits and pieces on it. I decided to just go with it, and mainly because I thought, oh, well, it'd be all right. The, um, the grass will grow back. It didn't occur to me in a million years that the grass would never grow back. Um, I don't know what's underneath those mods, but it appears to be fairly toxic to grass growth is never a good thing. Right, I'm going to finish filling this trailer up, because we have seen this already, and then we can go down and we can tip this out for the sheep, and we can get some more in for the cows, because I'd like to do some fertilizer spreading, because this map is actually equipped with the GMK, so uh, we'll spread lime on the field over there that we, um, that we cultivated, 
and then we can do a bit of seeding, seed drilling. And also, by the time we finish doing that, our silage should be ready and we'll be able to put some of that in for the cattle. This tractor is getting absolutely filthy. It's taking quite a bit of time to do this as well. I'm thinking that uh, if we do need a couple trailer fulls, then we might actually, it might be worth considering a second, oops, I've actually filled it up completely now, so that one's done, I want to pick that one up and that one up like that. So we'll run this back down to the sheep, where's the gate, oh it's down here, there we go, yeah we'll run this back down, we'll run this over to the sheep and as soon as we put this into the sheep, we will, um, Take a bit. I think I'm going to try and just put half in for the sheep. And then once I've put this in for the sheep, we will then put the rest in for the cattle. I'm not going to worry about any more of it today because I want to spread the fertilizer on that field. Well, spread the lime because we got the GMK mod. So that's actually going to look pretty cool. And I'm hoping that before we move off to FS17, we will have time to spread a bit of manure. Good grief. It's a steep old hill that is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just take a look at that. That is a steep old hill that is fantastic i love the, the just the little bits of steep hill that you've got all over the place it's just a tiny little valley but my goodness is it steep that's brilliant get rid of that a second there we go beautiful absolutely beautiful right anyway uh, before i got sidetracked i wonder if i'm going to have room to maneuver with this thing stuck onto the front what was i saying Yes, um, I'd like to have a go with the GMK mod uh, with some either slurry or manure or both. I think that would actually look pretty cool. Um, I have done lime on the uh, map that I'm working on, a uh, hard working map, but I haven't done anything on the other one. Oh, we've actually got a gateway up here that we can get into this big field. And this is... Well, I know that along the edge of this one, you've got like a, this really steep ledge. Let me, let me just show you a second. And yeah, see, you've got like a cliff that runs <laughs> along the edge of it. So we could actually, I don't, I don't think you can get down there. I don't think it's sort of suitable for getting down there. So we can realistically at least cut some of this up the top. So we do have more grass available. That is really cool because I was wondering if we only had that one field, that we would struggle a little bit. Now, I don't know how much 150 sheep take, so let's just back up here. That should be... Yeah, that's going to let us tip it in there. I don't want to do any more than about half, do I? So I will stop this when it reaches 10,000 left, because I want the rest of it for the cows. 15, 13, 12, 11, that'll do. Right, and if you go to this one here, and there is a link for this one in the description. I think there is. If there isn't, it, I will add it. Uh, sheep owned, feeding trough, 9,000 out of 112,000. Oh, and we actually have water as well. So I'm going to have to get them some water to increase. Right. Uh, I don't want to give them any more now. We will have to come back and do that. I think we're going to have to do a more serious grass cut somewhere. We may even have to sow grass in one of the other fields. So I will drive this back down to the other yard a minute. There we go. Right. That'll give us 10,000 in here, and then I'm hoping we can go and get a little bit of silage. Although I'm not actually sure what we're going to pick it up with, because I don't think we've got anything oop, to pick it up with. Right. Can I get round there without bashing that post? The, the only awkward thing about this is it's extremely difficult and tight for manoeuvring around here. Uh, I'm going to come out of cab to do this a little bit. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So I can tip there, and if I tip... That will just start filling that one up with grass like that. Excellent. There we go. Right, that's perfect. So the next thing, so that one is now filled with grass. The next thing we want is silage in the last one. So I need to, I have to come up here and turn. And how am I going to get the silage? I'm going to need, I don't have anything down here to scoop silage out with, do I? Hmm. Well, this could present a problem. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and walk up to the sheep farm. I'm going to get that uh, tractor that we've got, and I'm going to sell that tractor, and I'm going to buy a 
um, telescopic handler and a bucket and then we'll worry about the other implements afterwards I'll get oh no hang on the right the uh, the absolute cheapest one that we can get I suppose we could try a skid steer except that I'm not gonna be able to lift the logs if I go for a skid steer I'm not gonna be able to lift logs high enough um, there's only 2,000 litre capacity because uh, you do have the log fork this one uh, but I don't think I can lift the logs high enough to get them into the beast up there. You've got to have a bit of a lift on that one. The wheel loader can barely cope with that. Right, so the wheel loader is 165. Telescopic handler, that one is 85,000. That one is 79,000. And then I think the modded one that we've got, because I haven't actually downloaded any new ones, that one's 105. So we're going to have to go with the cheapest one. Which, unfortunately for me, is the JCB. I have explained to you before I don't like it. I've not used it yet in the game, so I will go for the JCB. Um, because it does mean that I get out of having to use a wheel, uh, a tractor with a front loader. So it is a positive step in the right direction as far as I'm concerned. Um, even if I'm not particularly fond of that machine either. Right. So let me just... I'm just going to park that one right there for a minute and I will put that one away later. I'm going to go up and get the um, tractor up the top. If I can climb up through here. Got to be a way. Right. I have one uh, manure fork on the front of this tractor. Our fill level is too low for silage. So I will sell this tractor and I will sell the front loader. Because we've got some other tractors. I don't think that we need this one as well. So if I can sell this, it'll probably just about cover the cost of buying the JCB. Now, yes, I don't really want to have the JCB. And I believe when you're going along the road, there is argument on both sides of the coin for this one. But when you're going along the road, you should keep the um, forks low to the ground. Where's the entrance? I've gone right past it. You should keep forks low to the ground, but you should have them covered up. Um, ideally with a metal cover covering them over so that they're below, you know, right down close to the ground and it should be a metal cover that is very easy for everyone to see. Um, of course the other option is to put them up in the air but then they could um, hurt someone if you had an accident or something like that. So um, I was, I've often been told you should keep it right up in the air but the safest way is to keep the forks covered and keep it low to the ground. I'm sure there are people that do it in all sorts of different ways. So we sell that one, we sell that one, and we sell that one. That got us uh, about forty to 45000 So it's not quite going to cover the cost of the new telehandler. And that is, yeah, it's definitely the cheapest, unfortunately. So we do have to get that one. Okay, and I want a bucket for it. Yeah. I'm going to need pallet forks at some point, so I may as well get those now. Uh, bale spike I'm not going to worry about at the moment. Log fork we are definitely going to want um, fairly soon. We could go for the manure fork but we do have the bucket that we could use. So we don't have to go and buy that one just yet. Um, so I'm going to get this back down to the yard because I am almost out of time. And I had all these things that I wanted to do. I wanted to do fertilizer spreading which I haven't actually got to. But we have fed our sheep. We've cut a bit of grass and we fed the sheep. We've bought this hideous machine now. Oh, I don't like these. Look at it. Look at it sat there. Yeah. Yeah, you know how unstable and awkward you are to use. Um, I mean, yes, admittedly, the visibility for it in this particular game is rather good. I will give it that. You know, credit where it is due. Uh, but I don't like them. I just don't... I don't know why. I just... <laughs> Okay, uh, that's probably not part of the master plan. But anyway, so we'll keep it low to the ground. And I will drive this back down. Because I'm almost out of time, I'll drive this back down. And we can put a little bit of silage in for the cows. And then I will have to wrap it up. Okay, while we're driving through here. And the suspension on it does look pretty good. I will give it that as you're driving along. That does look pretty cool. Um... The question for this week is, do you want me to buy field 9, which is a field of maize over there on the left-hand side, or, hang on, let me just bring up the map, do you want me to buy field 12, which is a field of grass right next to the one that we were mowing? Uh, we're going to 
we're probably well we are going to need more grass well, we do have some available uh, but you know the extra silage could be quite good because uh, that's going to mean some money which is probably going to prove quite useful so what we're going to do is i'm going to tip one bucket full in here um so yes do you want me to buy field nine or field 12 the maize or the grass it is your vote is your game head down to the comment section down below and let me know what you think and uh, let's just tip that in there and see how much we get for one bucket full of silage that's actually not bad that's not bad at all seven thousand two hundred and fifty four for that little bit of silage. is that on sale at the moment did we have a sale come up for that we had a sale for something i thought or was that on a different map silage is one thousand six hundred right well there's nothing else on here is there there's that uh, that's it okay we, we, we'll go with that that's that's pretty good 1600 and i thought this was on hard difficulty as well no it's not it's not on hard difficulty is it i changed i put this one on normal difficulty i think other than hard i thought it would make a pleasant change as we'd just done um old times we'd had that one on hard difficulty so we'll come down through here and we'll tip this last one in and as I didn't actually get to doing any of the fertilizer spreading this week, I will do fertilizer spreading or lime, actually. We're going to use lime up in that field up there. We're going to do the lime. Um, that will be in the first episode next week. And then we'll see about uh, sowing it. I don't know what we're going to put in there. And then is wood chips. That's got to be our next task. We need to get the wood chips going. So there is our silage. Tip that in there. Just filling it up nicely. Easy. Right bit of silage in there and oh that mirror is actually in quite a useful position i can actually see what's going oh what is that right 2500 and straw that's putting hang on is are we actually is there anything actually happening with this machine or are we just is it just the bit on the side there that you're seeing uh, it's, it's, it moves it back a little bit as it does it Ah, you got the little robot thing moving in front of it. Let's oh, can we get in there? Come on, let's let's jump up through here and have a look. There you go. Look, so you got the little robot that goes along in front of it. That fills up. And what's that going to do? That's going to move. That moves over there. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. So that moved over. Now what's it doing? This thing's really cool. I didn't know it did all this. Unfortunately, I don't know how to move it, so I can't actually... Oh, we, we can move it a little bit. So it says mixed zero at the moment. So is it actually going to give us mixed ration? Because at the moment, the cows are on 10% because they've got no grass in their troughs. Now, what is this going to do? It's moving. It's got 5,000 litres in it. It's got 17 metres left to go. And then what's it going to do? Oh, like I see. It'll come round the loop. And I'm assuming that once it comes around the loop, then it can start putting the mixed ration into the trough there. This thing is really cool. Point two, point one. There, right. And now it's actually starting to put it into the trough. There we go, look at that. That is awesome. That is absolutely brilliant. Look at that. Oh, that thing is awesome. That's incredible. I am very impressed with that one. Oh, that is brilliant. So that's running down there. And it's slowly filling it all up. It's put 5,000 litres in altogether. And what's it going to do once that is empty? Is it just going to carry... Are we going to keep that little bo annoying box there the whole time so we can actually see uh, sheep or anything? But sure, we'll see. Let's just let it run down to the end because 5,000 litres, I'm assuming it'll empty as soon as it gets down to the end. There we go. Right, that's finished. Now what's it going to do? It's going to run to the end. Oh, now it's going to go back again. All right, I'm not quite sure how to switch that one off. It would be nice if we could, or at least move it, move the location of it. That would be useful. Anyway, um, I have completely run out of time now. I've probably gone way over again. Um, I have said before I try to keep episodes under 25 minutes, but lately I've been failing at that because I talk too much. Um... I'll put a bit more silage in this thing before next episode and then next week we are going to spread lime on that field and we're going to drill it and then is wood chips. We need to get wood chips. That is our next priority because I want to get um, these things started. To get. I want to get some beehives down for these. So we'll be using this one and doing a lot of running around with it as well. 
Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch me as well. That would be awesome. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.